Welcome everyone to the first lesson of the third part of Expressions and Equations. Today we're going to be talking about true and false number sentences. So by the end you're going to be able to decide or find numbers that make number sentences true and false. So before we start, let's just talk about what true and false means. Please pause the video and write down whether you think each of these questions are true or false. Okay, Mr. LaRue is bald, true or false? Well, even though I call him bald all the time, really he's not bald. He just looks bald because he shaves his head. So really, this is a false statement. The Q in quest stands for questioning. Hopefully you know this is true. You should all be questioning how you can make your academic life better, what you can learn about, what your passion is, questioning. The sun orbits the earth. Hopefully you know this one is false. The earth orbits the sun. Question 4. 2 times x plus 4 equals 2x plus 8. Because of the distributive property, we know that once we do the dance, these two make a true statement. So this is a true equation. Equation, remember, has an equal sign. So both sides mean the same thing, so this is true. 3 plus 7 equals 10. Again, true. You know that this side equals this side. It makes a true statement. 19 minus 11 equals 10. And that is false. For an equation to be true, so a number sentence to be true, each of the sides have to equal each other. So this is false. If I wanted to make it true, I could use this symbol, a not equal to, and then it would be true. All right, so if you're in class, we're going to pause and have you work with a partner, but if you're working on your own, I'm hoping that you're working with someone, but if not, work with yourself and see if you can fill out this chart. So for about, pause the video for a few minutes and see if you can tell me what the symbol stands for and give me a number sentence that would be an example. All right, so the first one I think you know means, oops, is equal to. And we could say that um, 1.25 is equal to 1 and 1 fourth. Both sides of the equal sign equal the same thing. They're, they name the same quantity. All right. I am not sure if you are familiar with these symbols or not in previous years, but they're called inequality symbols. Inequality symbols. So they're not an equal sign. Inequality symbols. So we could talk about inequality in the real world, like if there's an inequality between um, people, one might have more than the other. Um, so a rich person might have more money that may or may not be an inequality depending on your point of view. But inequality, where one has more or less than another. So this symbol, oops, this symbol right here we read as is greater than, is greater than, 10 is greater than, Five. Okay, so that is is greater than. So this one is less than. So we could say five is less than ten. So we could just reverse the numbers in the sign. So how I think of it, and I, if you did any of this in elementary school, you might have been taught either the hungry duck or the alligator. The opening always goes to the greater side. So 
the hungry duck, it's hungry, it wants the greater side or the alligator. So is greater than, is less than, and when it has a line underneath, it means it includes it. So we could say this symbol is less than or equal to. Is less than or equal to. So now it could include it. So 5 is less than or equal to 5. Or 5 is less than or equal to 10. Anything that is 5 or above could fit on this side. So this one is greater than or equal to. So 10 is greater than or equal to 10 because now it can include it. Or 10 is greater than or equal to 5. It's not equal to, but it is greater than. Alright, let's just practice writing some equations and inequalities. Then we're going to substitute in a number to determine if it is true or false. So again, we're going to, for each sentence, we're going to write the equation or inequality. Then we're always going to substitute 3 in for x. And then we're going to determine if it makes a true or false statement. So, for example, the first one, the sum of 5 and x. So we know the sum means plus. So the sum of 5 and x is equal to, so that's my equal sign, 8. So now I'm going to substitute this 3 in. So 5 plus 3 equals 8. 5 plus 3 is 8. They mean the same thing. So this is true product of 5 and x. So the product, to remember, means multiplication. So 5x is equal to 8. So once we plug in 3, 5 times 3 equals 8. 5 times 3 is 15, not 8. So when we plug 3 in or substitute 3 in for that equation, it makes a false statement. Is greater than. So the next two are exactly like this, but it's using the is greater than. So that is this symbol right here, is greater than. So can you please pause the video, see if you can write these inequalities. Substitute 3 back in and see if it makes a true or false statement. Alright, so this is what I have. And I really do hope that you really are pausing and trying this on your own. The sum of 5 and x, so we know that that's a plus in there. So 5 plus x is greater than 8. That is my inequality statement. Now I'm going to plug that 3 in for x and solve. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 is not greater than 8. It's equal to 8. So this is going to be a false statement. If this had had a little line under here, so it read is greater than or equal to 8, then it would have been true. And for this last one, the product, remember, means multiplication. So 5 times 3, is that greater than 8? 5 times 3 is 15. 15 is greater than 8, so that makes a true statement. Alright, so for this one, for each of these questions, you're going to substitute in the value and state if it is true or false, but in a complete sentence. If it is true, find the value that would result in a false. So if it's true, if it's true, find the false. If it's false, find the true. So what could you substitute in to get the opposite answer. So if it was true, figure out what you'd have to put in for false and vice versa. For example, this first one. If we substitute 8 in for x, 4 plus 8 equals 12. 4 plus 8 is 12. 
So, so this is a true statement because both sides equal the same quantity. So what could we have put in for x to make it not true? Pretty much anything other than 8, because if you plugged in 3, 4 plus 3 does not equal 12. So I'm going to change colors here to make it false. Anything, anything, sorry, I wrote that wrong. Anything besides 8. And then I want you to give an example as well, not just anything. So anything besides 8, for example, 4 plus 3 does not equal 12. Okay, so try these on your own and then come back. All right, so let's talk through 2 and 3 and 4. So I have, I, I took my 4 and a half and I plugged it in for G and I multiplied it out. Now I did not change it to 0.5. Some of you might have changed this to 4.5 and then multiplied it out. I left it as a mixed number, then improper, and then multiplied across, and then divided. So I came up with, I hope this is correct, 13.5 is less than 15. So this is false because 13.5 is not, and I meant this to say, oh, is greater than, so I just said that wrong, it's because 13.5 is not greater than 15. So to be true, we have to use any number that is more than 5, because 5 times 3, so if we come back over here, 5 times 3 is exactly 15. So we want it to be more than that. So if we use 6, for example, or 5.1 or 5.5, but 6 is an easy one to see. 3 times 6 is greater than 15. And same with this one. I did not write out this one, so here, let me just go through this last one. If we plug in 8, 8 divided by 4 is exactly 2. So this is false because 2 is not less than 2. So I would need a number less than 8 to make a true statement, and I just chose 4. So if we plug in 4, 4 over 4, or 4 divided by 4 is 1, 1 is less than 2. So that's what I had for these two. Please try this last one on your own, and then we can move on. All right, so if you need more practice, make sure that you come to class because I do have more practice ones. But for the video, I'm hoping that is enough. I want you to notice, I think that is too dark, that a number sentence, remember a number sentence is just a statement of equality or inequality between two numerical expressions. So we call them equations or inequalities. So truth values are a number sentence that is true if both numerical expressions evaluate to the same number. If it's false, then it means that they're not the same quantity. And so we have inequalities and we have equations. All right, work on your assignment. Make sure you check to see if there's any 10 marks or IXL. Have a great day. We out.